Hello everyone and welcome to episode 12 of Splinter Cell Conviction. Uh, we are finally in the White House and uh, I'm joined here with Matt and Aaron, although Matt has some reason to Oh, he's back. He's back. He just dropped out as we started, but now he's back. Doesn't matter. <laughs> what um, the uh, fuck? We're going to try and finish Come this. Come on, man. <laughs> I mean, we hey, look, have to start a grand finale with something like that. Yeah, this is hopefully the grand finale. I don't know if this is going to be a one or two parter, but hopefully it's just going to be a one parter. Come so, on, yeah. it's bullshit. Jeez, um, <laughs> man. In this level, Why do we even plenty of splinter guy? cells. Somebody, this level is going to have plenty of splinter cells. I, I, I know for sure. Uh, do you want to define oh, splinter no. cell? The orders came from Ice Queen. Hey, you! Uh, yeah. Okay. He just like Good. stands right next to it. Um, right, I'm just gonna let you kill my friend. That's okay. <laughs> That's yeah. Is any game that has like a parry or a combat sort of sequence that has to play out, that's always what's a questionable logic that gets applied. Like Assassin's Creed, obvious one. Whenever you do the. Parry the thing is, is that stuff. they just let you kill kill their friend. Yeah. Oh, you got 20 people standing there, about 10 of them have guns. While you're doing some sort of combo or slashing some guy's chest... They'll just kind of let you do it. Yeah, the perfect opportunity for one of them to pick up a gun. I, look, I got a rifle, but nope. Nope. Didn't like that guy anyway. Look, yeah, he can go. I don't care about him. He doesn't need to be in the fourth position. Oh, oh, they're kind of just killing all of my guys. So, uh, I guess that's. <laughs> I guess that's fine. Cool. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't really like two. any of them anyway. That's that's okay, I guess. Oh, oh, they are, they're always coming up. But this is not good. Oh, good. <laughs> they they just they didn't make it any up. easier when Brotherhood. They could just like hold X and point in the direction of whatever you want to kill. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Now. Oh, I guess. I mean that game. As soon as you learn parry, it's you win. Oh, you get counter. Once you once you counter, you just win game. Yeah, like, yeah. Like that was yeah. the only way you could um. It's the only way the count like the you could win uh Assassin's Creed one. Mm. Yeah. Because I I completed that multiple times. That okay, game, man. Right. I just remember in the Assassin's Creed one, me and my friend. You know how you sometimes find those uh patrolling. I don't know, groups of about twelve maybe of men sort of thing. Oh God, yeah. Yeah, and the idea was to sort of find a section of the map where that was frequented by them and just sit there and see how many people we could kill without being hit by I mean, literally, we just gave up after about 200. <laughs> Counters, man. Yeah, I know. Oh, bye, Matt. Oh, You'll be back. Matt. He'll be back and he'll be bringing God damn, friends. Goddamn Google Hangouts is pretty dodgy. No, he's going to be good. He's going to be bringing friends and the party's going to get us. Here he is. Did you bring oh, in friends? There he is. Bring friends. This game, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hit a pop oh. man. Sweet. Feels I'm not the only one disconnecting today. Hi. Wow. I'm back. <laughs> I, <aren't. laughs> I mean, should we start placing bets or something? I feel Who's going to disconnect next? Yeah, I feel we should somehow you know, make. Why is it this. you two? You guys both have better internet than I do, like because in terms of life, speed, life, and my friend. Download. I don't fucking know. It's a good question. I guess stability. Yeah, it's probably just Google Hangouts. Maybe. Uh, I'm thinking stability. Although, yeah. although, remember we did record a game card using it, so I don't see why suddenly it just starts screwing up on us. Just well, last time it was working fine. Gamerpod doesn't use uh, video. Did we use video? Yeah, so... No. No, we didn't. It was just audio. Yeah. So, yeah, maybe that might be it, but... Anyway, gameplay. What's sure. going on? Where are we? We're in some <laughs> um, sort of... I am uh, stealthing. Trying to. Oh, okay. Trying to get through to the next checkpoint, which is actually quite close. For a stealth game, uh, where's your prone option? What do you mean prone? Like, lay on the ground. Oh, prone. No, no, prone, prone. Like, you know, when you go down on the ground. Go prone, lie on the, lie on the ground, uh, belly, belly down. Yeah, and you shuffle on the ground using your... I don't remember when I, I used um, to do that. I don't know. Well, I mean, it's a, it's a stealth game. That would, you would think, be... 
an option. Yeah, but it's not a Warzone stealth game. <laughs> Going pose isn't very useful when you're in the, in the White House. Right, so... Moments pass, I'll do it next time. One, two. Because in all fairness, it's not the whole, um... It's not about, like, trying to be somewhat, like, camouflage. Hmm. Like, if you lie down on the carpet in the White House, you're gonna look <laughs> pretty, pretty obvious. But if you go prone out in the bush wearing camouflage gear, you're, like, it's a little bit hard, harder to find you. Because hmm. I, rem so. I remember we used to have an experiment to do that. It's just like, guys, distance is no, like, no factor in actually hiding. So what happened was, I was like, we stuck five guys, like, trying to learn like, we, we were teaching that distance isn't a factor. Yeah. So we stuck five guys, turned them around, and we got four people to hide at different intervals. And one guy was literally a meter away from these from these five guys. And he had a, um, he had a, uh, like, ghillie suit. Yeah. And he just lied down in the grass, like, in the grass and, like, the leaves. And I was a hundred meters away, kind of just just behind a tree, sort of. Fuck, yeah. And they found me instantly, and they're just like, like, why are you so bad at hiding? I'm like, if this, guys, this was a thing I was just trying to show you that distance doesn't make a difference. Like, why? Well, how many people have you found? Well, all except for Rinaldi. Hey, Rinaldi, you want to show yourself? And he just stands up, and they scared, like, they're just scared shitless. Because he, like, <laughs> he jumps on one of them as well. He's <laughs> like, yeah. oh, God! <laughs> Good job. But I mean, like, what, how do you, what sort of area was it? I guess bushland. Bushland, yeah. Kind of like s semi sandy, just grass. Yeah. Just like so uh, not a lot. You're clearly without a ghillie suit. I take it. Yeah. I like I started. I set up the like I set up the lesson just to show these guys that distance doesn't make a difference. Right. Right. And, and like, my superior officer quite liked it, <laughs> so I was quite happy with myself. Because it was a good experiment, it showed them, it, you, it showed them that, like, distance makes it almost fucking no difference. Hmm. In a certain respect, they were kind of lucky that they didn't just happen, being a meter away, they didn't just happen to walk and step on the guy. Well, like we said, just from where you are, look oh, yeah. around. Okay. Because the idea of camouflage is, is, um, it's the, like, camouflage itself means hiding in plain sight. So, yeah, yeah. I said that we will be able to see you, you need to find us. You didn't run. Ah, okay. You don't get it, do Sam you? doesn't like the vice president. Well, the vice president. He, he could be a little more gentle. Mm. Yeah. Mr. Vice President. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, you enjoy the way what you'll see, what you'll see next is anything but gentle. Oh, okay. Be gentle, it's my first time! <laughs> Here's him being gentle. Oh, nice, yeah. Nice! He clearly used the gentle bullets, so. The gentle bullets. Yeah. What, um... Pick them up from your local, uh... Um, beanbags. <laughs> no, that's what the riot... That's what the riot police use. What, beanbag? Yeah. They have, like, beanbag launchers because... They, like... Oops. They hurt. Yeah. They hurt like a bitch when shot really fast, but they don't actually... Like, cause any major damage. They just bruise the crap out of you, wouldn't they? Exactly. In that respect, we just use uh, paint, paint guns. Paint gun gun. Yeah, but that's messy. <laughs> what if you miss and you hit a building? I suppose, but you'd be disinclined to start a riot again if you have to fire a whole bunch of people. Hmm. I'm doing this wrong. I am doing this wrong. What I managed to actually get past this part when, uh, when you had to go. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. that's true, yeah. Well, I don't know. De oh, I thought you were dead. You were just taking a nap. That's no good. Nope. Just, uh, 
taking a quick break. That is a lot of guys. It's a lot of dudes. He is coming closer. Nope. I'm surprised the guys no. in the Pentagon just don't just go, Why don't we just blow up the White House? <laughs> well, actually, their boss is kind of there, so... Well, he gets yeah. the fuck out, and then they blow up the fuck up. <laughs> Problem solved! <laughs> Sam Fisher Genius. didn't really left. Obama can kind of just live in the Pentagon for a couple of weeks while he finds a new home. Tries to get back on its feet. <laughs> I think it, like, in movies, why the nuclear bombs are the last one. Like, and they could use a small scale bomb right at the beginning or something. So, what is like, that? You see? No, no, there's gonna, there's gonna be, like, one guy who, like, constantly just says, Why don't we just put a bomb there? And they're like, <laughs> No, we can't do that. They're like, Huh? Well, see? See, look at this. The bomb would have just killed him and maybe a couple of civilians. What happens if we put a bomb there now? It'll blow up the White House. But we don't have any other option now, do we? Maybe you should have listened to me at the start. Then we wouldn't have to contemplate blowing up the president. <laughs> oh, Matt died. <laughs> oh, wow. Why is this so bad? <laughs> Google Hangouts, man. <laughs> Google, why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to oh, me? Google Hangouts, so good. So good. <laughs> uh, that was funny. This is uh, rude. My face is up in the screen as well. Uh, it was funny, but... Like, right in the middle of your uh, rant there. It's like, why don't we just... <laughs> Why don't we just disconnect from Google Hangouts? Well, it kind of makes uh, sense, didn't they? They're just like, no, we don't want to talk to his guy right now. He's going to be a real smart ass. <laughs> <laughs> we probably should have just listened to him in the start, but I don't want to have to listen to his shit right now. He's going to die. I threw oh. that mine in the wrong spot. Well, you died next to that guy. Mm. Or was that you? I couldn't tell. Uh, some guy. Some guy, some well... Guy. Stop. You're in good company. You've met some guy. And I think he's like he's going to go well. Oh good. Oops. The key to any relationship. <laughs> Who killed me? Don't know. So, uh, Matt, how's your experience with uh, Google Hangouts? Um... Uh... I'm trying to think of a nicer word for shit. A nicer word for shit. Although I am having fun with the webcam option. May yeah, that's true. May I interest you in a thesis or matter or excrement or possibly? I'll take dump. Okay, cool. Good. That's now bargain bin, so you don't have to worry about it. Oh. What are you just like uh, nades going everywhere? Are they yeah. seriously just throwing grenades on the inside of the yeah. White House? Good like guys, good. Just, just, just casually. Switch yourself as pin into our halo. Uh, grunt with, what's it, cowbell? Or, what's that other skull? Catch. Catch. Oh, hey, right. Um, I think. Cat. What, where they just throw a bunch of grenades? Yeah, plus cowbell equals just a whole bunch of, oh my god. No, 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 um, you put cowbell and grunt birthday party. You you shoot one grunt and it kills the other five grunts around him. <laughs> it's true. It's just so much more efficient. <laughs> it's how I got through on legendary, man. All them headshots. Right, right. Because it does, like, a lot of damage to the elites and brutes as well. It just makes mm. my life so Well, not the elites. The elites are friends in Halo 3. And shows how long it's been since I've played it. But it, it does a lot of damage to everyone else, so... Yeah. Plus the, uh, light entertainment you get from the... Yeah, because I've played, um, I've gotten through every Halo game apart from Halo 4 on Legendary, so... Right. But, like, not, not with friends, I've done it by myself. 
Oh, okay. oh, no, stay in the cover, you stupid sound fisher. Why did you go out? Oh my god, fucking. We're gonna have to deal with this guy. Can we have an intervention? We need to yes. sit sound fisher down and have a chat. Seriously. We need to talk about you going Very out serious to the fray. <laughs> you kinda need to stop doing that. Uh, Are you just you just lobbing grenades in there when I feel it? Yep. That's one. Four grenades so far. Okay. Two. Five. Another one. How's the uh, stealth? Have another one right at the moment. Oh, it's stealthy. Over nine thousand. <laughs> it's very stealthy. Um. Yeah, I've kind of threw stealth out the window. <laughs> yeah. Along Just with a about, tad. Along with about 10 grenades. Oh, oh, up we go. Go, 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 grenade. Cover your path. I mean, cover your exit. They won't know I'm coming. Really? You mean the explosion didn't give anything away? I mean, that's true. My unconscious. Not and lol. Done. Okay, next part. Oh, okay. Oh, oh cool. good. Oh, good. Nice chairs. Is this Very someone nice standing chairs. there? Yeah, it's like time frozen. Ah, uh, okay. Headshot. Ah, uh, okay. He's dancing. At least that's what it looks on my screen. By the time Grim got a hold of Sam, oh, no. okay, next part is going to be very hard. In the oh. Oval Office door. oh crap! I wasted all my remote mines. <laughs> well, uh, it could be here for a while, folks. I, I need I need a remote mine for the next part. GG. I suppose I could try and pull it off with a frag. Not too sure. She will play for this. She had about it to tell Sam. Ah, oh, this is gonna be interesting. That shouldn't this is gonna be very hard. There's gonna be tons of spin cells in this part. Can we just have oh, them? Can we just have them stay as they are right now? Don't still. <laughs> just like time freeze. Yeah. Can we get some blinks happening right. in this? Okay, where am I? Meet Grim in the press room. Okay. Sounds like a good idea. All right. Drop. Sam, Sam, please drop. No, he's no. waiting for the elevator. Why would he do that? <laughs> Just waiting for a mate. <laughs> right. Is this smash his face into the wall? I was really hoping. No, no, no. I was really hoping he would break his neck and push him into the into the elevator and be like, "Ha ha!" Now no one will ever find him. <laughs> You think Sam oh, just kind of gets into a trance of breaking people's neck, necks, and he goes up to the president, breaks his neck, he's like, "Oh no, <laughs> I was meant to keep him alive." <laughs> just doing my job, and this is where it gets me. Um, is that guy gonna move or not? Oh, I don't know. Yes, he is. All I see is a red arrow. I see a white arrow now. That means he's gone away, kinda. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Let's go have a chat. Very forceful conversation. Is about to ensue. Oh, he's in the corner. Oh dear, that's a bit of butt rape. <laughs> Just a bit. I think possibly about the DC. Nope, I'm good. All right, clear the room. Right. Now this part. This part, man. <laughs> So you've done this before, I, I haven't seen any of this. Right, so. No. Oh god, oh god. Some guy on a friggin' massive machine gun just, you know, having fun. So you gotta walk up, run up this corridor, stuck in the machine gun. Yeah, this is really not a stealth game anymore. Nope, it's like, go through. Go through the uh, linear path, kill all the yeah. things. Yeah. But I mean, just the mechanics of it aren't even sort of stealth fighting things. Uh oh, what did they throw? Yeah, they threw something. Ah. GG. GG. Grim. G R I M. Oh. Oh, good. That was a checkpoint then. I love checkpoints. <gasps> I have remote mines. Two needs a quick save. They gave me remote mines back. Oh, wait. 
That's the next point. So now we should be able to do the next part. Finish. Yeah. Sam gets sick of that noise. What noise? The uh, sonar goggles activating. What, the high pitch? That. Maybe. I mean, after a while, that would be. I would want to. I'd put my safety at risk just to not have to have that come into my ears. <laughs> Fail whistle. Yeah. Fail whistle. Right, so since he is there, what we're gonna, gonna do. I think I'm, I think I'm gonna go drink some water. Okay, rate me. Did that kill him? One to five on how good this sounds. It did kill him. Awesome. Alright, water. So next part. I'm close. Get closer. Reed's knocking Quick question. Uh, oh no. Right now. Matt, you still there? Yeah. No, don't oh, worry, okay. I'm in DC. <laughs> okay, this part, more splinter cells going to come along. More splinter cell. Or not. More of the game. <laughs> uh, oh. So that point Why? where they um, say the movie title in the movies. Like snakes on a plane. Right. Uh. It's like, I'm tired mm. of these snakes on this plane. It's like, ah, oh, yeah. that's why it's called that. Yeah. <laughs> it's time for Rocky Five. So Rocky Five, Rocky Balboa's Revenge. Oh, something cool. along those lines. Wait a minute. What? Why is there like no people here? What the hell? How many movies don't do that? But like, I mean, Inception did it. And uh, I don't know. There's quite a few movies that don't actually say what they um they talk about like um okay just the bureau did it like right up until the very end right next cutscene already because they didn't actually give Sweet. like the plot any name and then at the very end they I called so it the adjustment bureau I saw <sighs> so, oh thanks right. like I couldn't work we out who you guys were and we need to from like the title of the movie the president immediately. Yeah, yeah. And now we have some plot all right, some meaty, meaty juicy plot. plot. No, this is. Rem remember how we saw flashbacks of him, Sam, getting do. had his had her had a gun <laughs> against him. Oh, hmm? like that. This is like Tom, before. I've got Fisher. What? I'm how? How in. he got into Don't that do situation? Until I get there. Oh, okay. So Sorry, this Sam. is basically a setup. You're going to the Oval Office. Right. You've got to dress properly. So, for the what? Grim's evil. No, yeah. she's Sorry. she's doing it so that it looks legit. Okay. It looks legit. <laughs> Seems. Uh, I'm really not. Get up. Oh she's right. gonna take him like, into the president. It looks like the president like is just gonna be president. like. Hmm. Seems legit. <laughs> <laughs> Seems legit. So president would right. say. Remember this. All those years. So who are we controlling now? It was for the greater good, Sam. I'm not controlling really. I, I can actually control Wait, that woman's a redhead, isn't it? I never did know you. Yeah. Yeah, this is what yeah, Kevin Rudd would say then. And you still don't. That <laughs> he's about to get whacked by a woman with red hair. <laughs> Although that guy needs like revive or something because he has to come back. <laughs> I was wondering when you were going to get here. Uh, yeah. Nice work, Anna. Okay. I see you got Time some, some nice for juicy, the juicy plot. At the well, he put up a little bit of a fight. <laughs> Alrighty, time to and mark. You, you, Sam Fisher. Just in you, time to be you. So how does it feel, Sam? I mean, that's just marketing. Knowing you're gonna go down in history as the man who assassinated you have President finish. Caldwell. Yeah, like you, you yeah. have to use it. Of course, yeah. we'll be mm. just a little too late to rescue. Really, you. it's not something that. Times trying to escape. I mean, it it's can classic, be a game-breaking sort of mechanic, but it can't really still not. That this is gonna work. It's not the really, really still for him. I mean, clicking through walls, <laughs> Your Sh shooting bullets sure through walls. Hmm. We're third the way I usually play games, look for a glitch, <laughs> abuse it. And if I want yeah. To, I can make it what? The boat and the boat and Wind Waker. Nah. So Don't need that <laughs> shit. And you might live a few seconds longer. Although you do need it for like uh, that's not third the first thing, but then after that, it's just like yeah, don't need the boat. Last time I checked, he was dead. <laughs> and guess what? 
Third echelon Never nearly the died. Tom, you see, the president decided the agency wasn't justifying its funding anymore. Okay. Mm, she was going to shut us down. Leave America vulnerable to the sort of attacks you spent so. Oh, no. oh. oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. We just had some wonky stuff happen. Slow mo action. Madam President, are you alright? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. Wait, the president in this game is a female. No way. That was a close You've got maybe two minutes before the army takes back the White House. I guess, uh, that's interesting. How did Megiddo get to you? Guess that ain't happened for a while. Megiddo, you want to know about your daughter? Guess we finally learned the great secret of conviction. Oh, do I get a choice? I can shoot him or I can bash him. Um, um where's the slap um, him with your dick option? Because that's what I want. I don't think Sam's really a killer, so let's just bash him. You don't get to talk about my daughter. Still don't get it, do you? Sir, it didn't matter. Threatening her was just a way to get to you. And leveraging you was a way to get what to the third echelon. Sarah? Third echelon? Sarah. Sarah. They get what they wanted out of the White House. Sarah. Maria. The one Lambert was worried about. Uh, uh, Very good, uh, Sarah. See, that works for two you games. It works for, really? like, the oh, Gears, wait, it works for Gears of War. Like, all of them with Dom. Wait a minute. And then, Why am I getting a second option to choose whether to shoot or bash him? Bash him again. He's more bash him again. He's all right, let's bash you him again. She's gonna shoot and, you. This is and the, uh, the, the, the game that was very, very rarely played, Shadow the Hedgehog. This better not be like one of those Deus Ex kind of things. Move, move! Drop your weapon on the floor now! Captain, thank you for rescuing me. Who are these guys? Now, I don't see anyone else here but us, and I'm sure you no, don't no. either. I like this style. Man. I what, you arriving late thank and then doing nothing. <laughs> Oval Office is secure. We have the President. POTUS is safe and secure. They didn't see anything. <laughs> okay, now I get the final choice, whether to kill him or spare him. So kill. why haven't you killed him before this? Kill. Come on, man, you gotta make it up for me after the fucking fair, where you just kill nobody. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pull the really damn trigger, man. It's, it's, mm, it's, it's such a tough choice. It's hurting Stephen's morals here. Yeah. So are we are we gonna be like uh, the, the angel and the devil sitting on the shoulder? Yeah. If I did the devil. Uh, okay, kill, you go kill, devil. Kill, 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 kill. Stephen. Stephen. I guess I waited Consider. too long. Something happened. Oh, you motherfucker! Family. No, what? no, oh, no! You just, no, you, you away. get back there. You get back there and you no. shoot his face off. My trial. <laughs> I could use a good character witness. You already had your trial. Uh, oh, oh okay, thank you. So Grim killed him. Thank you. You didn't have to do. You that. I need yeah. somebody to die. I disagree. Mm. I just, I just need. <laughs> Things change, Sam. Yeah. Things change. Remember what you told me when this was over. Who is um? I'm walking. It's you can't. There's too much left to do. Up. I can't Ask quite tell. But it looks like it's I've not done too much shape. already. Sam. Please. I don't know who else I can trust. Hmm. Trust. Seen Funny better days. Say that. Yeah. Looks Goodbye. like Sam's walking. He's off. He's done. With cable operation. Covert operation. He's done his Rather. part of the job. Da, da, what's this? Da, 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 oh, da, 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 it's Vic. Da, 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 I've talked to Sam once since he left. He told me that he and Sarah were going to take some time to catch up. Talked about who was really important. You just see a Tyrannosaurus Rex break through the wall. The last thing he said to me was Kool Aid, Kool Aid man. Vicky says, "Sure, I know. Thanks for everything." Have you never heard of Kool Aid Man? I love him. No, no, I don't think so. He's a giant jug of Kool Aid, which is basically cordial, brother. Oh, okay. And he jumps through the wall and goes, "Oh yeah!" Oh. There's like a lot of jokes of like people's cars driving through the Kool Aid Man's wall, like jumping through his yeah. wall, and then he just goes, "Wow!" From the other side, this. 
kind of is annoying. I I, I can see where I'm going wrong here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, well, credits! Credits! Oh my God, we finished the game. That is it. That is the credits. <sighs> Those are the credits. <sighs> Yay! Finish the game. Finally done. All in one episode. That oh, is good. Wow. Ah, oh, such a relief. Nice such a relief. Good job, Stephen. How do you feel? Do you want to? Do you want to give us some I feedback? I feel relieved. Okay. Do you want to? I feel relieved. Do you want to rate this game out of out of seventeen? Out of seventeen? Yeah. I would give it a thirteen. Not bad. Okay. You got it. Not go bad. Ten out of ten. <laughs> ten out of ten. <laughs> you got to go ten out of ten. <laughs> Slight. Slight extraction. Oh my god. Um, so yeah, I hope everyone here, uh, including the audience, enjoyed uh, this Let's Play of Spin Cell Conviction. Um, I know it was a very tough one for me, especially for <laughs> on a realistic difficulty. Um, I don't really know what else to say other than well, ending it off here. Did you guys want to? This would be about half the length if I was playing it. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. Right. Um, uh, okay, okay. Did you want to add anything, Aaron? Uh, yeah, just uh, tune in next time for even more deaths on Blacklist. No. Good, oh, yeah, Blacklist. No, 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 because no, I'm doing that uh, new sort of layout thing. Do the game first and then, like, play the yeah, level first, yeah, then true. do record. Thank so, yeah. fucking Tune in next time for less, for less deaths. <laughs> for less deaths. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So please like, favorite, and subscribe. Share this with your friends, and we will see you again in Blacklist. Oh. They, they seriously don't want. Me. Ooh, double shuttle. Oh, oh, Synchronized double shuttle. Oh my god. They just got a ten with a weapons factor of at least two point six. Okay, just give me a second. Uh, MBN. Where is it? There it is. MBN. Hello. Just gonna wait for the web page to load. <laughs> 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 <laughs>